Hey, what's going on fellow Rangers? Welcome back to another update of Power Rangers Legacy Wars. My name is Jonathan Snow. As you can see, it's like 10.30 at night. Uh, n Wave released this about 23 minutes ago. And here we go. It says, Rangers, observe the viewing globe. Featuring the latest info on Balance Update 2.0 with the fist emoji. Here we go, guys. Power Rangers Balance Update. I have yet to read this, so this is going to be all new to me. So here we go. We take in feedback from your posts on Reddit, Facebook, and more to adjust the balance of the Warriors below. We also made major improvements to the way assists function, making them more viable in battle. We also made improvements to matchmaking to ensure integrity of our leaderboard system and regular PvP and Megazords. Combat changes. Defense assists. Defense assists can be used in the middle of a strike just like a shield. Now you can press... Now when you press that movie... But Excuse me, I can't speak right now. Now when you press that Billy 2017 assist, when you're being hit by a strike combo, he'll come right out and sock your opponent. Assist summon. Assists are now summoned with their color type, the movement, the moments they appear on the battlefield. Before, they had to finish their summon animation, which led to the increasing amount of assists canceled. This will help make the game feel more responsive and assist more useful. So now that means, basically that means that now your assist can get punched out out of the way no more balance changes leader Gia Morgan ha huh. let's see what she happens to do her damage and utility compared to her primary was not comparable to other leaders in terms of EP cost uh, stun gun trio decreased from four to three that's pretty good because her her stun gun trio is absolutely terrible and you always cancel it and it was not rewarding for a full course move so I agree with that Mesagog. Mezogok needs some love. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Cyanotic Brain Blast decrease from 5 to 4. That's perfectly fine. I have no complaints about that. Robo Knight. With a lackluster breaker, <laughs> we wanted to improve Silver Slash by dropping the EP cost and adding a knockdown. Rapidly, rapid Fury was extreme easy to block, but now the window to block the attacks has been reduced. Interesting. Um, blaster, blasterize becoming a breaker will result in your opponent respecting your projectile power. Oh, really? That's awesome. Uh, Silver Slash decrease EP for four to three. Uh, knockdown in instead of stagger. Okay. Uh, Rapid Fury stagger now occurs on the third shot instead of the fifth shot, and now can only be blocked within the first two shots. Increase damage by twenty percent, and blaster change from strike to breaker. Okay, hold on. I have to put my phone down and clap. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Some nice love to um, a character leader that's been needing love for almost a year. Ninjor. Oh, gosh. With the low EP's cost of fast abilities, well, we all know he needs to calm down a bit. That is very true. Katana Triple Strike <laughs> has been increased from 3 to 5. Waiting game has been increased to two to three, which is fine. I that's 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 pretty good. And burning ninja recovery time of the ability has been slightly increased, has been increased slightly. So that's good to know as well. So I'm happy with that. Ninja is not fully dead, but he has been tamed down like the way Draken has been tamed down as well, which is good. Korag, oh boy, Korag is much better placed um, these days. He still needs to fine tuning in regards of his damage and speed. Shield Bash, damage reduced, increased recovery time. Oh, no. So now I'm wondering if you could do Shield Bash into his breaker now. And hopefully it won't be too slow. Uh, wolf Attack, EP increased from 4 to 5. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> EP, oh, my goodness. So now his Shield Bash, his uh, Magical Strike, and his Wolf Attack are all 5 cost. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I feel so bad for Korag. Assist Lauren Shiva with the additional of her burning effect her EP cost was not in the line with the amount of damage she can deliver fire slash EP cost from five to six oh, So now she's increased to six her assist okay putty without any visual cue It was hard to know to reach of his ability. We added additional VX to address this uh, rock blast to show ability range, okay, and then we have bug fixes Matchmaking changes have been ordered to reduce potential leaderboard manipulation in both regular PvP and Megazord Battle. Interesting. Andros in Space Leader 
Fix a bug where Saber Slash can be canceled too early. Okay, Phantom Ranger assists when Q twice in a row. Assist will now correctly execute his ability twice rather than only once. Uh, Trini MMPR assist fix the issue where the assist can could strike canceled by dashing. There was an issue with that. I thought that was her the her assist was able to do that. Uh, strikes fix is issue where rare cases strikes could pass through blocks. Interesting. And toss change activate by Q like other abilities. Uh, previously, taunts could only be activated from idle. Huh. That's very interesting, too. But nonetheless, I actually do like a lot of these uh, fixes. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the new patch changes, especially to Gia. Very interesting. Robo Knight is very, very interesting. I definitely want to try out Robo Knight now. I'll probably do him uh, this next, probably tomorrow if this update goes live. So, with that being said, uh, let me know what you guys <laughs> think about this update. It's pretty awesome. And once again, once a ranger, always a ranger. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.